What's up guys, welcome to today's video. Today I'm gonna be sharing with you guys how to cut 60s bangs with a long face frame. Now Harper's Bazaar is calling this the up and coming trend for the spring of 2021. So you can see right here, I got a couple examples. I'm gonna walk you guys through this step by step. I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it. So follow along right here, let's get started. So the way I wanna section everything off, I wanna start right in that fringe area and I'm gonna create a triangle section. Uh, and I'm gonna bring those two sections together. So basically what I'm looking for when I'm sectioning this off is from the kind of the, where the head wants to curve forward in that fringe area, down to the hairline. So you'll see how I kind of match that up. That line goes directly vertical down the hairline right at the temple area. Now I'm gonna divide the front and back. So we're gonna go straight, kind of high point of the crown, straight down and find that hairline in the back. That's where you wanna separate it. I'm gonna do the same thing on both sides, twist that up, flip it away. All right, so now that we got that clipped out of the way, I'm gonna start working a square line in the back of the head. Basically, this is gonna be no elevation, maybe finger elevation, depending on if your client has shoulders or not. Mine doesn't, so I'm gonna hold it in my hand. If you guys have your client, you can just comb it right back on the back of the cape, cut a nice blunt line. This is basically just cleaning up the haircut, getting it to a, a length that looks nice and healthy, uh, so you can talk to your client about that. Now we're gonna move into the sides. The sides are pretty simple to cut. We wanna create uh, partings that we're gonna mimic with our finger angle. What I mean by that is draw a diagonal forward line and you don't wanna have a ton of elevation in the sides when you're cutting a long face frame. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring that over to me uh, right in front of the head, mimic my finger angle with that parting. So a slight diagonal forward, little bit of elevation and keep this nice and long. That's what the trend is calling for. So just longer layers around the face, definitely below chin length and now I find my guideline where I want it to drop and I go through and I cut a nice blunt line uh, to get a nice clean look. So now what that is is stationary guide. I'm gonna follow that stationary guide, just keep bringing hair to that point uh, until I get to the end of this section. So now that we finished up the left hand side, we're gonna move over to the right hand side. Same exact thing, same body position, working our way diagonal forward and bring the hair in front of the head. All right, so now that we completed both sides, we're gonna start working in the fringe area. Now I'm gonna grab my favorite tool on the planet. We came out with this tool in December, super excited to launch it. It's the Tri-Razor by Free Salon Education. It's got a 100% cutting side and then two texturizing sides, a texture 25 and a texture 50. You're gonna take out 25% of the hair and 50% of the hair all in one tool. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys how to cut this 60s inspired fringe in just a couple uh, quick swipes. So we wanna find our length. So so kind of determine that uh, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna hold the hair with light tension in your hand so I'm really aiming to create a length that is between the eyelashes and the eyebrow uh, for me that's going to give me kind of a nice sit right at the eyebrow when it's dry so that's kind of what I go for so get it uh, the hair don't pull it too tight hold it with some loose tension you're gonna hold it and pinch it about the width of the tri razor blade and then you just start slowly going into it now i'm not trying to carve through it quick i want to do a nice soft carve with the tri razor so just watch as i slightly move it up and down so i'm not creating too much of a layered line now, if you guys think this tool is cool, like I do, uh, go to Shop FSE, which is our online store, Shop FSE, Free Salon Education, uh, and you can pick up a tri razor, $44.95, one of my favorite tools for cutting a fringe, cutting layers, which we're gonna do right here. So we're, now we're gonna take our texture 25 side. We did a blunt cut in the back, so I'm just sliding it through 25%, cutting 25% layers throughout the back of the head. Three swipes in the back, and that creates our layering. 
interesting to see how easy that works. All right, guys, so now we're going to go in with the blow dry. We're going to use Paul Mitchell Neuro Style Prime. Uh, this is a great heat protectant. It's got a nice medium hold to it. It goes uh, right through the hair, gives a ni nice little slip to it. And you really want to protect your client's hair from that heat damage. So that's what it's all about. So just getting that base level in there. Uh, and then once I get the blow dry done, I'll go in and add Paul Mitchell Neuro Protect. I'll spray that through. That's an aerosol spray. And then I'll hit it with the Paul Mitchell uh, Express Ion style plus a smoothing iron to smooth everything out get it smooth around the face this is what really brings that whole look together a little bit of detail work with the tri razor at the end uh, and now you guys can see here is our end result beautiful long layers around the face uh, you've got that fringe area that just pops it's such a cool look uh, i can see why it's going to be a trend this year 2021 so hope you guys like the video let me know in the comments below if you have any questions and go pick up a tri razor at shopfse.com the link is in the description below thank you guys so much for watching one last thing guys if you made it this far type made it in the comments below and i've also got a special offer for you guys on shop fse so all you have to do is type made it at checkout and you're going to get 10 percent off your order of 100 dollars or more uh, so that's my gift to you for watching the entire video thank you so much again i'll see you on the next one